वेलकम टू इट्स रफिक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट्स अ वेब पेज इज मेड अप ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इट्स ऑफ विच इज डिफाइन बाई एन एच टी एम एल कोड कंप्राइजिंग टैग्स एंड एट्रीब्यूट सो फर्स्ट लेट्स नो वाट इज एन एच टी एम एल टैग एन एच टी एम एल टैग इज बाउंडेड बाई एंगुलर ब्रेकेट्स ऑलवेज बिगेन विथ एंगुलर ब्रेकेट ऑन then the tag name suppose the tag is b then the bracket will be closed and this tag is known as on tag and after the writing the content of the tag suppose here i have text we have to close that tag and that tag is closed like this way first bracket on slash sign then the tag name and the bracket close so here the first part is known as on and the second part is known as off and this everything together is known as element so don't be confused only b this part is known as tag on tag and slash b this part is known as off tag and everything whatever inside that on and off tag is known as element there are two type of html tags first one is container and contain a container tag contain both on and off tag and for example this one which i have written at beginning suppose you text and you close this is an example of container tag and number 2 empty tag empty tag doesn't have closing tag empty tag contain only on tag no off tag for example h r b r d r empty tag they don't have any closing now attributes attribute gives some extra features to the tag suppose i want to change the text color then we have uh, for formatting font tag f o n t font if i want to change the color i can use attribute color c o l o r then equal the color name whatever i want blue and size how much pixels you want you can write here normally size we can give either in pixels or in points suppose 7 this way we can give some extra features to the font tag here the content whatever you want to write then font close so this is the use of attribute you can write the definition of attribute as attribute gives some extra features to the tags and attributes are always written inside on tag we don't have to write the attribute in off tag we will always define the attribute in on tag and the value should be written inside quotation while writing html codes we have to follow some rules this rules are first the tag names are not case sensitive we can write capital html we can write in small letter html or we can mix up h t m l or we can write in sentence case capital letter h t m l so in all the way we can write because it is not an case sensitive language but it is better to write everything in small letters it's a good habit of coding or programming number 2 the attribute values should be always written within quotation for example suppose p align equal left so this uh, the value of align is left 
and the left should be always in quotation whatever value are there for attributes you have to write in quotation and the attribute values are case sensitive this p and align we can write in any case we can write either in capital or small but the left should be always in small letters next point spaces between tag does not matter let's have an example suppose html had title page one title close head close body then b before to make the text bolder or uh, bold and suppose your hello world b close body close here i have written uh, hello world as simple and suppose in next line again uh, here br br is used to insert a new line again b hello and spaces then world b close after closing the body close html now save the page file file save open the file here you will see both output are similar there is as in second uh, line i have given more spaces but that spaces is run uh, removed if you give multiple spaces in html tags it will count just as one single space and tag name cannot contain spaces for example suppose i have one more tag uh, br i cannot write br like this way b space r let's save the file and see what will be the difference reload so you will see here both hello world are displayed in same line because there is no such tag as b space r that's why it is not counted uh, counted as a tag then the last point element can be nested nested means here uh, i have written html then we have head tag inside head tag we have title so this is called as nested means at first i have started head then title first title is closed then head closed this is nested so we can nested the tags structure of the html document i have already uh, written the structure here at beginning you have to write the html it define the starting of the document then head inside head will have a title or some other information about the page then after head closing body inside the body will write the actual content of the page here goes uh let's cut this part here we'll write the actual content of the page then you will close the body then html so this is known as the structure of an html document now line break or br tag use of line break or br tag here i have written actual content of the page suppose i have written all the words in different line actual content of the page let's save the page file save and let's have the output you will see here displaying the whole sentence together but in the html document i have written each word in separate line 
तो इफ इफ आई वॉन्ट अ न्यू लाइन इन माई पेज वी हैव टू यूज बी आर टेग बी आर स्टैंड फॉर ब्रेक लाइन और लाइन ब्रेक सो इट्स लाइन यू विल राइट बी आर वेयर यू नीड अ न्यू लाइन बी आर बी आर नाउ सेव द पेज एंड गो टू ब्राउजर एंड रिलोड here you will see now all the letters uh, all the words are displayed in different uh, lines because uh, of br tag then we have css css stands for cascade style sheet normally you will see in output here the page is just black and white there is no decoration no color nothing if we want uh, to make more attractive page with colorful animations then we can use css css are three types in html they are i am going to write inside body only there are three types of css they are first one is external second one is embedded and the third one is inline in external css all the coloring or formatting things will write in a different file and will link it to our html page in embedded we'll write all all the css command or tags or codes in inside the head tag or we can write in body also and inline css will use the css command or codes wherever we required wherever we need some styles or decorations that place only will define it so in external we will have a different file to write the all style commands in embedded we will write all the commands in same page but in one place only and inline css wherever we required in that place we will write the commands for decoration so the format of css is like this way first uh, generally we write the css in inside the head tag to start the css our tag is style type equal text slash css bracket close then uh, we'll close style also inside the style we'll define all the styles or format information about our page suppose i want to change the page color for that i will write body means i have selected the body of my page then brackets on curly brackets on i want to change the background color so we'll write back ground color then two dot or is two symbol and the color name suppose i want a uh, pink if you have one more line or you if you have to add more lines then you can give semicolon and you can continue in same line or you can go to different line it's your choice color is to mm, blue file save did i wrote anything in body no i have not written anything in body that's why i can't see any output let's i'll write uh, my first page in html let's save the file go to browser reload it so here you can see the page background is pink and the text color is blue and this everything i have defined in 
style and this type of style sheet is known as embedded I have done embedded style sheet means whatever styles I want I have written inside head tag or in one place only this is known as embedded style sheet normally in this uh, chapter we will learn about this style sheet only we will discuss more about style sheet in next video for today's video this much only see you in the next video till then take care and bye